Hi, I'm Sean Connolly, the CEO of Narak. I'm super excited to announce that we've teamed up with Luxanus to create a proof of concept that shows what's possible when we combine privacy-first proximity services with spatial AI and CV. Under a rapid development timeline of 12 days, we took this first step toward our North Star of saving lives on the road, and we're proud of what we've accomplished. If you'd like to learn more or get involved, we'd love to connect. Today, road traffic injuries are the eighth leading cause of death globally. That's over 1.35 million people dying every year, and 26% of them are pedestrians and cyclists. It's the number one killer of people between the ages of 5 and 29, and Narak is building an important part of location infrastructure to prevent these deaths. It's a new type of data feed and messaging platform that shares proximity-based messages between people and the things around them, all in a privacy-first manner. Our platform provides two-way proximity alerts as vehicles approach cyclists, and we enable people to record the license plate numbers of offensive drivers by speaking into their watch or phone. In this proof of concept, we started connecting OakD sensors to our app and platform in order to do three things, improve the value of our alerts, record near misses and unreported bike accidents, and to identify vehicles that are parked in the bike lanes. This new data feed and feature set will provide a superpower for anyone riding bikes, e-bikes, and scooters. It'll help cities attain their vision zero objectives of preventing these deaths with both real-time and post-event analysis tools. And it'll provide a key safety differentiator for micro-mobility manufacturers and shared platform operators. You may have guessed it, I'm a bike super nerd. Riding a bike is a Zen thing for me, always has been. And yet the nagging thoughts are always there in the back of my mind. Will that car leave enough room when they pass? Does that driver see me? What would I do if they don't? And how can I let them know that I'm even here? This is not a death-defying example, but it illustrates the point. This driver did not see me. Afterwards, their safety mirror lit up, so then the car ultimately knew I was there. But before that, it didn't. If this was an autonomous or connected vehicle receiving our data feed, it would have certainly known I was there. Even if the car's visible line of sight to me was blocked, our data feed would have made it through. This is what depth AI sees. Check out that bird's eye view too. It's assigned a vehicle ID and it's dynamically tracking the vehicle's proximity. Now that's super cool. Human perception works by combining what we see and hear. It's a mix of visual depth perception, intelligence, orientation, motion estimation, and tracking in combination with feedback from our ears. All this just happens naturally. Depth AI packs all this up in a small embedded system, the Oak D. The AI is for understanding what it all is. The CV functions handle the orientation and motion estimation, and the IMU mimics what our human ears hear. Together, this creates a human-like perception of all of the activities that happen around us, like knowing if a car is on a trajectory to hit you. Depth AI is the first platform to cram all these human-like powers in a tiny device, and it weighs only one and a half ounces, including the heatsink, and it consumes little enough power to be embedded into anything, like bike lights, e-bikes, and e-scooters. During a connected ride like this, imagine all of the new real-time elements that can be offered to prevent life-threatening situations by looking out for me and giving me warnings when I'm at risk and even sharing those warnings with nearby riders and drivers. And then after the ride, when I save these files to my computer or decide to share them, all of this rich data will be super helpful in retraining the system. So let's say we want the platform to recognize drunk drivers. Over time, we'll train the system to identify them, even if they're not posing an immediate risk, perhaps they're not on my trajectory, but wouldn't we all love to know when we're sharing the road with a drunk driver nonetheless? Since the system can quantify risk on board in real time, we can also dynamically record footage, say only recording when there's a risk or an event that we're actively looking out for, like parked cars and bike lanes. Further, we can store risk maps versus position. 
helping cities and municipalities understand where dangerous areas are, and even when those areas are dangerous. Clearly, the future of mapping goes way beyond the base map. Together, we're bringing this to life by linking intelligence systems with proximity services that share this data in a privacy compliant manner. At the end of the day, we're saving lives with a living, breathing human map of the movements that happen on our roads. So what did it take to do all of this? First, we customized the depth AI repos and tweaked some params, deployed it to our Raspberry Pi, mounted two Oak D cameras on my bike, plugged everything into the power bank, connected the Pi to the iPhone's hotspot, launched the Narok app, and started the session on the phone. Then I hit the road. Collectively, this is way more than a bunch of gadgets. Together, they become something extraordinary, a personal safety bubble that's both intelligent and privacy first. By incorporating Luxonis's offering into Narox, it just completely simplifies our ability to do very complex things. This is really just the beginning of many great things to come. We have a pipeline of Vision Zero cities, carriers, activity trackers, and transportation OEMs who all share our vision. We're on the lookout for collaborators who are committed to getting things done. If our mission of saving lives on the road is spot on with yours, and you'd like to collaborate, by all means, contact us at brandon at and sean at We look forward to hearing from you.